Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and once again it's cast time. And then let me let me uh, intro this music real quick. This is gonna be Steve Roden, um, of Space Enclosed by Planes or Surfaces. Uh, this is the uh, I played this kind of music before, but um, the genre is called lowercase, like lowercase music. Um, it's just music that's designed to be like really inoffensive, for lack of a better word. Like it's really it's like way in the background. It's like some really ambient ambience. Um, well, flicker, flicker. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's the kind of music that you never even knew it was there. So, but I play I played this kind of music before. Um, I just didn't really feel like playing anything else, so I just decided to go ahead and go with this. Or I should say, I haven't played this kind of music in a long time. So I figured, kind of about overdue. Let's get her started. So, uh, fairly active day today, uh, or at least as far as the stream goes. Uh, did my usual. I started off with, uh, did my usual uh, idle game tour, starting off with idling the role of the gods. Um, played it for, I'd probably say about an hour or so. Yeah, played it for probably about an hour. Um, once I got to a good stopping point on that, uh, switched on over to, I think, I think it was Idle Research, but I was only on that for about five or so minutes. Um, Trimps, same thing. I think with those ones there, I'm at a point in those where I just need to go on and do maintenance on them. You know, just, you know, get all my, uh, collect all my offline money, um, and just, uh, do all the upgrading I need to do, and then just go on to the next game. So, because of that, I, I'm thinking what I'm going to go ahead and do, provided I remember to, is uh, I'll just go ahead and start uh, start playing a whole bunch of other idle games that I have on my Steam page. Just play those, because I think for a lot of them, all I got to do is just go on and do a quickie check on them. Um, NGU Idols one, NGU Industries might be another one. Uh, but yeah, but so, but Adventure Capitalist... Although it's really going to pain me to play that game. But you, you kind of get the idea. These games where I don't have to do a whole lot of work on them. Again, just, you know, just upgrade what I need to upgrade and then go on and just off I go. So, so yeah, that's, I'm going forward tomorrow. I might just start doing that. I, originally, I was just trying to keep it to as few idle games as possible. But like I said, I'm, I've already, uh, I went through like two idle games in like 10, 15 minutes. So, might as well just do them all like that. And then, uh, after those, I did a uh, Grim Clicker. That's going to be a game there I'll probably play for. I don't think I'll be playing it for no hour. Or here, let me. Let me try to remember. Or let me uh, take a drink of some water here, real quick. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I think I played Grim Clicker for probably about an hour. Um, it's one of those where you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can ascend, or you can start over. But I'll, I'll, I'll just call it ascending. For those that don't know, um, whenever you play uh, an idle game, or a lot of these games have it, or should have it, but whenever you play a game... Uh, for a certain length of time um, You can do what's called ascending where Where you start all the way over back at the beginning um, You have basically have to start from scratch, but you'll also be awarded some upgrade points or achievement points some some kind of uh, some kind of ascension currency that you could spend on your on your next run which will you know increase your damage Increase the money you make, etc. So, so standard it's standard practice on most idle games. You keep playing. You keep playing on your current run until you get to a until you get to a point where you can't advance anymore. It's called the wall. So, once you get to your wall, then you're supposed to ascend slash start over, spend your upgrade points, and 
with the intention of breaking past that wall and advancing further. You know, ba or in another way of looking at it, advancing your wall. So, a state of constant improvement. So, but a Grim Clicker and Idling to Rule the Gods, they, they're, they're, they're the kind of games where you can do this at a fairly good pace. So, you can, I can actually play those for a fair amount of time. Um, idle Research, I've said this in my other cast videos, it's one of the few idle games that I could think of where ascending isn't worth it. I mean, you can, and you'll get some extra currency, but I think with Idle Research, kind of a weird quirk that that game has is you're already gaining, you sort of kind of already gaining ascension points, or in that game they're called uh, Golden Flasks, Golden Potions, um, yeah, but you, uh, golden, golden flasks in that game are the ascension points. But the weird thing about that game is you're already gaining them. You're already crafting and making them and all that. So you don't need to ascend in order to get, in order to get more of them. You can just keep on playing. Um, you can ascend and you'll get a, you'll get a lump sum of them. But the thing of it is, is. It ain't much. So like I said, it's almost uh it's one of those games where you just go in, check the upgrades, or check and upgrade whatever you need, and you can just go ahead and quit afterwards. Uh trips. Um in the early part of the game, when you're trying to get established, at least at least where I'm at in that game, um, I've said this in other videos too. Trips has a cap system. Like uh food, wood, metal. All those have a cap. Uh, you just a limit on how many of those resources you can get, which can be upgraded. Um, I can't remember the names of the buildings, but once you once you get them, it'll double the capacity. So eventually, you can get to a point where where you have so many of these buildings, it's just like idle research. You can just go in, um, spend what resources you got. Usually, when I do it, I just buy these buildings that increase your, increase your capacity that way so I don't have to be on as much so now it trimps is getting is getting that way as well just go on um, do my upgrades and then call it good so which uh which now leads me with uh, idle champs which as I've said in other videos too is my favorite idle game when it runs or no, or specifically, what it doesn't crash my computer on startup, which I've got to admit, um, I've been playing it for almost a week now, and I've been having a run of good luck with this game. Because, like, uh, once again, like I've said before, um, there's a chance that Idle Champs will crash my computer when, tr when, uh, when booting up. So, so, yeah, but like I said, gotten lucky. The game started off just like that, so, but, but uh, there's a, uh, but uh, Idle Champs kind of plays like, does play like d and it's a, uh, it's a whole bunch of different quests, and uh, they're, they're, the, the whole game is separated into different campaigns, so, unlike other Idle games where the upgrade points you get are yours to keep forever, um, in this game here, the upgrade points that you get in one campaign does not carry over into any other campaign. Now, if you went back to that particular campaign for whatever reason, you'll still have those upgrade points. They'll still be there for you. But again, if you go in any other, any other campaign, those points you've accumulated don't go with you. So again, you basically have to start over from scratch. And there's, uh, there are other games that are like that, too. Um, Clicker Heroes comes to mind. I forget the name, but they have, like, a... I'd call it a... A... A, a second-tier ascension, maybe? Like, uh, if you... If you do the second-tier ascension, even your... Even your current ascension, all of... Even, hang on, let me back up a bit. Your first tier ascensions, those those reset to zero too, and you really, really, really have to start over. So it just 
But it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain if I don't have the game in front of me. Of course. Move just hit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try pulling one up. Uh, yeah, going to clicker heroes. Hopefully this shouldn't take long. Now there's gonna be. There's going to be a bit of a mess that I'm going to have to clean up first. Okay, so it's up. Hey, I don't have to enter a brand new one. I'll just go with that. Well, how about that? So, it came up quickly. So, let me, um... Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. So, like I said, you can, um, you have your heroes, you can upgrade them. Um, this guy here, Admin Hotel. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see the tooltip, but uh, this is Ascension. What this does here is that, um, it just starts to run all over again. In fact, let me go ahead and click it. Let me double check something. Okay. So yeah, ascension. So I'll go ahead and do it. So again, now everything re everything starts all over again. If you look here, um, you get a. These are your upgrade points for ascending. Which, which you'll spend on these ancients. You know, ages, various upgrades, uh, boss timers are longer, or boss fights are longer, you'll get more treasure chests, um, you'll get more, you'll get more gold when you're in idle mode, uh, or you just get a, a flat gold buff, so on and so forth. But that's just your, this is just the first tier ascension. This is the second tier. So if I, um, uh, yeah, here we go. This is Ascension, and this is, uh, Transcending. So if I was to Transcend, I would get 42 Transcension points, which I can use to upgrade these, um, effectiveness of uh, all idle bonuses, extra DPS, um, and these, uh, these can, uh, affect, uh, Bubos, Kronos, Dora, these all increase the effectiveness of whatever ancient you buy. So, but that was all I was wanting to show on that. But anyway, that's that's pretty much how uh, Ascension works. But I I, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. But Idol Champs kind of works that way. So once again, um. You can get upgrade points on your current campaign, but once you leave that campaign, you gotta start from scratch, and then you'll start you'll start getting upgrade points from that particular campaign. And there's a, and I'd probably say there's probably about ten different campaigns to choose from, so you got a fair amount. Oh, and um, I before before I forget to mention again, um, yeah, today I did um, as far as videos go. I listened to a little bit of music, but eventually I uh, I fired up another Henry Rollins podcast. Um, I think he talked about uh he talked about meeting William Shatner. I guess um good old Captain Kirk in real life he's this happy go lucky person from from what I gather. But like I said, um William Shatner as a celebrity I I've never gone Google Gaga over him or anything like that so. I know very little other than the fact that he was Captain Kirk on Star Trek and he did like a whole bunch of extracurricular stuff. But but bottom line, I guess uh, he's like this really super, super intense, friendly person. Um, and I guess he's also friends with Rush Limbaugh, a person that Henry Rollins has no love for. So, And then um, later on, uh, I also watched the... It's a, it's an Idle Champs uh, podcast. It's called Paint and Slay, where they uh they paint miniatures. 
it's kind of a it, it's kind of a kind of a quirky podcast. I'm not a miniature painter myself, but it's still pretty cool to watch. Um, they uh, they painted a uh, Jabberwocky, which now that I think about it, I'm gonna look that up. Um, I want to say that a uh, Jabberwocky, I think, was actually a show that uh, um, Terry Gilliam of uh, Monty Python fame. I thought he like made a made a show about made a show called Jabberwocky. Yeah, Jabberwocky film. Yeah. Yeah, looking right at it. Um, 1977 uh, fantasy comedy film. Uh, written and directed by Terry Gilliam. But yeah, it was actually... Um, I think it was based on a poem or something like that. The nonsense poem Jabberwocky from Lewis Carroll's through the looking glass. That's pretty cool. So. But yeah, I think it's probably one of the why re- one of the reasons why I tend to check out these um uh, Idle Champs podcasts. They they're actually they're actually getting into a lot of obscure stuff. You know, if they were to talk about D and D they talk they'd also talk about first edition stuff. Not just the current shit. You know, and they're, in the example here, you know, they're sitting there doing a, they're painting miniatures about, you know, obscure, obscure 70s poems and movies. You know, not like just, you know, Taylor Swift's latest album or something, you know. You know, they're, they're not picky and they, they, they cover all the bases, for lack of a better phrase. Anyway, I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it good on that. I still have a fair amount to talk about. It's 17 minutes already. I didn't, wasn't expecting it to go this long. But anyway, this part here is probably going to be pretty short. Um, I didn't play much pinball today. Um, I think uh, for the matchup, I'm, I think I'm all for two. So I tried doing a droids pinball tried, or excuse me, I tried doing a droids pinball run, um, I did okay, I didn't beat the, I didn't beat the high score, so, uh, Funhouse, on the other hand, I was freaking super close to beating the high score, but, you know, I just, I think, uh, I mistimed the, uh, active double score buff, like, I made the shot that would have got me, got me a, a good chunk of score, but, I hit the buff button too late, and I didn't get it. Had I have uh, had I hit that buff button early enough, I probably would have beaten the high score. That's how close I was. So, but nevertheless, um, I didn't get knocked down on the rankings because of those too much. And um, I didn't want to make the same mistake I'd made a few weeks ago, where I just kept trying over and over and over and over, trying to beat, trying to beat the high scores, but I kept failing over and over and over and over me, you know, dropping me further and further down in the rankings. So, I went over two, and I just cut it off at that. Like I said, I don't want to lose any more matches. I don't want to lose the advantage that I got. I mean, hell, I was, uh, I was surprised that FX3 didn't crash, because um, as of, as of recording this right now, the screen's flickering from time to time. This has been going on ever since I first fired up the computer and started streaming. Right when I right when my stream started, flicker, 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 flicker. So I figured uh, FX3 was probably gonna crash on me. Surprisingly, it didn't. Um, and then um, and then pinball arcade, I just never got around to it. And besides, considering the uh, utter failure that was my uh, session, like. A day or two ago, I figured it'd probably be best to just lay off of it for a bit. So, I might do a, I might record a session tomorrow morning or something, but we'll see. And then um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do commentary on this article, although I've uh, looked at some of Jessica Wildfire's recent articles and she's I don't know if she's really, really at the end of her rope uh, these days or something, but yeah, they've gotten they've gotten more smarmy and more sarcastic. She's 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 become a she's become a lot more smart alecky in these in these recent articles. I'm not a I'm not a fan of it. I liked it when she took shit like dead serious because I already I mean I already check out enough I already check out enough political comedic stuff in my life as it is. You know you know Bill Maher. Um, I think there's like one other I also check out. I can't remember can't remember the name right now. But yeah, like I said, there's enough. I mean, there's enough political smart alecky out there. So it was kind of nice to check out her articles because. Unlike a lot of the other these, a lot of these other people out there, she takes she takes this stuff like seriously. So, but one of the weird thing is um, the her current article is uh, the ultimate cat bait listicle. It'll make you a millionaire in cat bucks. Now, like a day, I think the day before, um, I got it on an email and uh, her original article is called. The ultimate toxic, trashy, clickbaity thirst trap of a self-help listicle of all time. It'll make you a millionaire, I swear. I'm kind of wondering what happened within the tran in the transition. Now, I did a quick looky look on both of the articles. They're, for the most part, exactly the same. There might have been a few changes here and there, but it just I was wondering what happened. Why? Why the the the. The sudden change in title just kind of had me curious. So, but anyway, um, as this one here is the more recent one, it came out yesterday. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and check it out, but like I said, she's been she's been pretty smart alecky in these recent recent articles. So, so hey. Have you heard? Doctors and lawyers are broke. They're barely scraping by. Can you believe that? Hey, Kenny and poor the same tiny studio apartment. Said... Okay, so let's take a look at that. Yeah, I, I don't think you can see it, and I don't, I don't really want to go through the trouble of um. Uh, Cutting and sewing up the page to make it more easily readable, so they can't even pour the same team. They can't even pour the same tiny studio apartments they lived in when they were waiting tables 20 years ago. Huh? That's why I'm going to make you a millionaire, but first I'm going to make me a millionaire. So I guess she could, she also could have titled this "How to Be an Asshole." It'll make you a millionaire and cat bucks. I'm gonna make me a millionaire. I'm gonna do it by rounding up every single piece of toxic life advice ever printed since 1937 when Napoleon Hill published Think and Grow Rich near the Great Depression. Discover the secret. Okay. Oh, I think um, her other article I think she. I think it tied. I think it was titled "Discover the Secret, but Don't Share It with Anyone Else." Hundred years ago, Rhonda Byrne called the secret. It made him gobs of cash. Yeah, keep, keep. Yeah, keep paying me money. Be determined to remain ready until you get what you want. Don't take no for an answer. Do what you have to do. Bankrupting a bunch of single moms. So yeah, it's yeah, it's it's basically a con. So, only one thing matters, you. That's the key. Admit you're a selfish prick. Duh. Achieve inner peace through selfishness. You have to stop doing things that don't directly benefit you. That's a waste of time. Brow beat a barista and <laughs> God <laughs> Make
make her cry. Offer a seventy-five dollar tip. She dipped her. Oh, 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 oh. There was a back in the eighties. There, hang on, let me uh, let me take a drink of water here first. Oh damn! I just read the rest of this. Holy shit! Um, what I was gonna say is back in the eighties, um, pro wrestler, uh, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, his uh, his shtick, he would often bring audience members. He would bring audience members out, and he'd tell them, "All right, get on your knees and bark like a dog." And this this lady would literally do that. Get on her knees and bark, 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 bark. She'd start barking, and then he he like dropped like a couple hundred dollar bills on her. There you go. <laughs> But man, after reading this, er and you all thought Ted DiBiase was a douchebag. I mean, she, at least he actually gave you the money. She just unearthed your ludicrous childhood fantasies. Elon Musk comes to mind. Or hell, or hell, any other any other rich billionaire for. All or any other rich billionaire for that matter, which is what we're talking about, it seems. Focus on your inner child, yeah. Now that you basically have the infinite punch sheet, go nuts. Dig deep down into your psyche for all those crazy fantasies. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It was the same thing I did back when uh, back when I was a console gamer. I had a game shark. You know, you can you can put in the infinite money cheat. I just bought 99 of everything. So, our cutthroat capitalist culture won't let you make a simple living as an artist or a dancer. You gotta monetize the hell out of it, yup. And I kinda, I kinda said that about this music too. Like at the start of this cast video, I mean, no I didn't, no I didn't. Oh, I forgot to mention at the start of this video, this is actually a second attempt. I got about five minutes in, um, just started hemming and hawing the words and saying the wrong shit, and nope, gotta have to erase this one and start over. But yeah, this is one of the things I said on my last attempt. Some of this uh, lowercase music you're hearing is actually copyrighted. Yeah. Sounds of air conditioners, and they're trying to make money out of it. But yeah, it's just... Right when I saw this, I recalled that. Yep. Got to mon monetize the sound of box fans all blowing at high speed. That's hard, and it's why most people quit. Our economy dent depends on 99% of the world settling for shitty, soul-crushing gig jobs. I mean, on one end, yeah, but it's it's classic. I mean, the shitty, soul-crushing jobs are the ones that are making the world go around. Of course, I totally missed this part here. So I think she's like talk. I think she's talking about um, Uber drivers and stuff. online shoppers not you though you're different <laughs> you're special you're unique you and the countless million reading this are going to forge your own path how are millions of us going to chase our wildest dreams while coexisting on a tiny planet with finite resources don't think about that believe in yourself limit others yeah belittling other people to make yourself look good Part of growing up into a functional adult is learning that you can't do absolutely anything you want. Of course, you're not interested. Of course, you're not interested in that. You want to be rich and famous, don't you? Don't you? Like I said, she's 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 starting to become smart alecky in these uh, recent articles. I wonder if it's her uh, strained relationship with medium. I think I did a cast video about that too, like the uh, the CEO 
of uh, Medium, her publishing company. Um, he's basically enabling bullies. Normal confidence won't get you anywhere. You've got a pathologically interest, invested in fantasies. You have to be willing to go out into the world and approach your... Yep. You have to brain your... Do it hard we can. Strike stupid. <laughs> Summon a demon. Assuming you don't become one yourself. Brainwash your way to self-awareness. And it looks like this is going to be a pretty long article. So I'll probably be cutting it off here at some point. Gaslighting us since adulthood. Telling us we're not good enough. We'll never amount to squat. Over time, you internalize that. You should just pretend you don't have any. There we go. Exercise. Here we go. Um, in one of my recent casts, I talked about this. She talked about this. Um, like I said, her up. Uh, Medium, her up. The, the company that publishes her work, they're doing this. Negative sell talk. Give yourself an advantage over them. Don't get caught. Expensive mindfulness retreat. Duh. Your environment plays a big role in your success. That means everything from the city or to your neighborhood. If you live in a dirty apartment in a bad part of town, you can stop doing that. Duh. Bill Gates escapes to a quiet ranch once a year. I know a very successful man. I don't know a whole lot about Bill Gates, but I'm I think he's kind of like Steve Jobs. He they very divisive. Uh, they're very divisive people. Uh, some people love him. Some people fucking hate him. Um, like I said, Bill Gates. I don't. I hardly know anything about him. Just creator of Microsoft. Um, but if he's uh, if he's anything like uh. What the hell did I say a few moments ago? Did I say Steve Jobs? I hope I did. But anyway, um, if he's anything like Steve Jobs, then yeah, uh, no love for him. I think uh, Steve Jobs likes to take credit for other people's work. So, yeah. Anyway, I gotta move along. Act like you have a growth mindset. Who has time to read? Not you, my friend. Okay, so... Develop micro habits and consume. Um, you're going to change your It's a hard sell, America. So we're going to market some diet pills and protein powders and gratitude jars. Yep. Life co what? Life coaches pay rent too. Okay. Only make excuses for yourself. Yeah. A lot of pro wrestling heels do that. It's your fault. That's not really true, but it's important to believe it. Just make sure everyone else believes it. Okay, so, yeah. It's... St stop thinking so much for real. You think too much. Pretend to stretch your comfort zone. Okay, um, a lot of this is starting to go over my head. So yeah, I think we're getting a bit too niggling. So. so I'll just go ahead and call it good there. Um, gotta love that red line. So, but anyway, in case anyone hasn't noticed, um, I didn't use an actual background. Like, I originally had that, but at the very last minute, since uh, since I was gonna play this lowercase music anyway, um, I figured just using that would be about as good a background as any. So. Anyway, but otherwise, um, that's gonna that's gonna do it for me. Um, I believe I said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then. Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time.